Jesus' statement that the gate and road to life are narrow and hard to find can be pretty dispiriting. We want to find that way and enter into life. And being told that it will be difficult and there's no guarantee that we will succeed is probably not what we want to hear. Christ's choice of image, however, reveals something important. The fact that he is talking about a narrow way rather than one filled with great obstacles and dangers reminds us that the way we are going to get through the gate and the way that we're going to find the right path is by letting ourselves become small and letting God lead us, guide us, and strengthen us. We see that in action in the life of Abraham because he was somebody who had a lot of success in life and became great in his area. But he never let go of that smallness of heart that allowed him to have this close connection to God. And that's how he discovered the way to life. He was willing to hear the voice of God. He was willing to respond when he heard it. He showed this willingness to be small in the way that he dealt with Lot. He was a powerful man. And yet rather than fighting with Lot and trying to say, I'm, I'm older, I'm wiser, you're going to do it my way, or just saying, I'm older, wiser, stronger, so this is the part I want. You can have whatever is left. He approached them with this great love and, and humility, saying, it's important for us to be at peace, and I want you to be happy. So pick one side or the other, and I'll take the one that you don't want. It's a beautiful way of approaching a difficult situation. Um, he probably was getting a lot of complaints from his, uh, his herdsmen and, and was probably annoyed. And yet being able to have this very mature, very loving response shows that smallness of heart that he had. And in that, he's a great example for us. Because if we want to live a good and happy life, we too must be small as Abraham was small. If instead we try to become great and happy and successful completely on our own, we will find that the road is hard to find for us. That there's a lot of promises that the world makes that seem like a good idea but end up being wrong turns that take us away from the proper path. And at the gate we will need to cross through is going to be tough for us to manage to get our overinflated heads through. But if instead we allow God to take the lead and allow ourselves to recognize our littleness and our need for him, then the greatness of his grace can shine through us. And he will guide us to find a road. And even though that road will still be full of challenges and occasional suffering, we will be guided with, by him through it. And that will bring us step by step to the happiness we are all searching for. And his love will make that path easy to find and easier to navigate. And when we stand before the gate, it will not be us trying to push our way through, but the Lord who will bring us through it because we will allow ourselves to rest in his arms. And rather than shoving against the door, let him open it wide for us, his beloved children.